go to the greenmangaming.com website, and there you can get amazing deals on your video games this October, or any other any other month, to be honest. They got good deals on video games that all go to your Steam library. Head to the description below. Good evening, audience, and welcome to Oktoberfest. I'm Batman. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, okay. Can't do that. Got a sore throat. No more Batman for me. So, welcome to Oktoberfest, ladies and gentlemen. And this year, for Oktoberfest, I decided to give Oktoberfest an exclusive play to win. Uh, so, I had to pick something short, and thankfully a lot of horror games are relatively short. But I decided to pick this. Nightmare House 2 is a game that sort of became a meme within Headhunter Productions for Oktoberfest when we carried a bed frame all the way through the game in one single night where we played this back during, I believe, our second Oktoberfest. So now we're back. And this is an updated version of Nightmare House 2, released 2015, uh, with a few gameplay improvements and other whatnot and everything. Now, try to keep in mind, this is a horror game, but it has a fair bit of tongue-in-cheek behind it. Keep in mind, these are the developers that put in this. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, I did that wrong. No such map. I typed it wrong again. God damn it. This is not a Easter egg, not an Easter egg, despite the fact that that's a fucking vowel. Well, apparently that's not working either. Oh well, the original version had that, if you're gonna look at my horse, my horse is amazing. Let's start a new game. <laughs> uh, Alright, so this is a source mod, released on the source engine, and... People, people, uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Includes the original Nightmare House. Which I believe this is, and Nightmare House original, uh, just serves as the prologue. Nightmare House, the prologue. <laughs> which we will go through right now. With the most useless flashlight in the world. I love that clicking sound, though. Fantastic. It's a fair bit loud, actually. I want to turn it down. There we go. That's probably good. All right. First thing. Uh, first things first. We need. We need to get our very nice X, which we don't have. It's got an upgrade. It now has a heavy attack along with the regular attack. It also attacks a fair bit slower. Nice. <laughs> it, it, at least now it genuinely looks like he's swinging it instead of like stabbing things like a crowbar. Because the original one was like a crowbar. This one feels like it's got a fair bit more weight to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's never gonna get old. I was about to say, maybe. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> okay, so. 
Uh, why don't we uh, not hang out in the nightmare shed? It's not called nightmare shed. It's called nightmare house. What the? Oh. <laughs> Thought that was a person. It's a chimney. Just wanted to get that out of the way so I could get at. Uh... I can't pick it up. Damn you! Of course, the door's locked. And the window doesn't open. Even then, I don't think we'll be able to get through, uh... Is that wood? It could be wood. I don't know. This table breaks, I know it. You can't hide it from me. You can't stop me! I'm not giving up until this thing is gone. What the? Flashy! No! Maybe this table doesn't break. Eh, well, this breaks just fine. What are you gonna do without your friends, Mr. Table? And that bottle just fucked off into oblivion. Anyway, I guess we'll head into the cellar. Man, I remember when I was when I was car wrecked out in the middle of the woods. Wait, hold on. The car is over here. I remember when I was car wrecked out in the middle of the woods and my truck was broken, so I went over to the nearest house out in the middle of the woods and I broke into their shed. And I stole an axe and then I broke all the stuff on their patio. And also everything in their shed. And then broke into the house. And fell into the cellar. And the bottle broke in front of me. It was a weird day to be alive. <laughs> this looks like a uh, very a sub cellar, sub basement maybe. Something like that. What the? the? Things are pushing me. I must break things! Yeah! I know that those break. Okay. Again, sub basement. Of course! Why not? Uh, here we go. A gun. Shit's moving around. I'm not gonna use the gun yet. Trust me though, ammunition's very plentiful in this game. Can I? Ah, uh, here we go. Actually, you know what? Probably be a smarter idea. Huh. I guess not. Flashlight. God. Okay. And one more. I'm pretty sure these crates can't be broken. So. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's easy to get up here. There we go. Oh shit! Forgot about you! Why are you going backwards? Die! There we go. I have to use the gun against him, but. Ammo. Ammo. It'll probably leave the light. I should have put up an epilepsy warning, actually. Now that I think about it. Is this break? Maybe not. I guess not. That breaks just fine. That door doesn't open. Hey! Hello. What happened to you, buddy? No? Nothing to say. He's missing his arms. 
Good to eat. Sweet. Free bed frame. <laughs> I'm kidding. We don't do that until the second half of this game, which is significantly the longer half of the game. Hey, oh, that was a spook. He did, she did a spook. <laughs> okay, uh. All right, let's see. Uh, what the? Hey, buddy! <laughs> Again, feels like there's some real weight behind the axe now. Like they didn't just use the generic cro reskin crowbar. Hey, eyeballs. Hey, okay. okay. I'll play your game. Huh? Okay. Hey. <laughs> okay. That was almost dangerous! <laughs> Actually, almost! Yeah, no. That was dangerous. Hey! That too was very dangerous. Here, uh. What's the quick save button? F6. Door? Okay. Good. Hi! How, uh, how you doing? Yeah, the, uh, hanging out with this thing? You gonna follow your footprint? Hey! So spooky! <laughs> Axe to the face. Yeah! 100% health for 100% meh. Oh. oh boy. Well, you didn't have to go and do that. Come on. Hey. 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 Oh, she didn't even kick the chair away. Hey, this revolver looks new. Oh. Hi. How you doing? I don't want to be a schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just breaking furniture. I like breaking things in the source engine. Shut up. Hi, zombie. Take that, you zombie! Die, zombie! Good. Yeah! Ah! Sound like a Wookiee. <laughs> oh, stop trying to give me a spook. Game. Ah! Don't do that, jerk. The key is required. Very well. Just get this out of my way. In this chair. I think the key's in here. I don't see a key. The good idea is to remove all of the furniture. Ooh, boy. <laughs> the source engine's never been very good with that particular kind of shelf, has it? The one where the things can fall out. God, that breaks. Real good. Real good. Bam! Oh, hi. Bam! Don't not die. I need you to die. Okay. Hi! Oh, bye. Oh, gee. I wonder where the key is. Hmm. Can 
gonna go out on a limb and say this is it. I'm not entirely sure, folks. All right, I got him. At least I got to play a shotgun ammo. Okay, door. Good, making progress. What kind of scary spooks are you are you trying to do, game? And this room looks peaceful, aside from the blood on the wall and the and the mysterious Okay. Don't break mirrors. Cause that's eight years. Something like that. Eight years bad luck, I believe. Something like that, I don't know. Hey! Look at these zombies with their just just complete disregard for private property. And I saw that! You and your big ass table. Which I think breaks. Look at the marks on this one, and they barely appear. Huh. Yeah, I, I, I recognize the chair. I knew it broke. Let's try using this for a little bit. Whoa! Okay. Flashlight's breaking. Everything's breaking. Epilepsy warning, by the way. Uh, that fall will most definitely kill me. <laughs> Ladder. Good. Uh, bullets. Yes. Bullets. Oh, good. That's good. No, perfect. Hey, can I bloody well help you? Jesus. Hmm? Oh. Oh, you're closing the shutters now. Window's not good enough for you. Ow! Oh, shit. Try to go back to the shotgun. Well, this looks... <laughs> now there are two of you! You just took at least three shotgun blasts. I'm calling... Ho I'm calling Hoagie. Oh. Found a door. <sighs> All right, let's see. Okay, hi. How you doing? <laughs> hey. How's it going? <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. What's the matter, you? It's a not so bad. It's a nice place. Eh, shut up in your face. Got him. Nearly got him too. Yeah, but no, I got him. Okay. So, I believe this right here is the final run to the car. Because, like, we're at the front of the house. This is actually the end of the, uh, first nightmare house. So, <laughs> Forgot that one appeared. Zombie! Zombie! Get out of my way! Move it! Move it! Yeah! Get to the car! This is actually a never-ending swarm of zombies. Cool, made it. 
You can't escape from Nightmare House. <laughs> and I think it said something like to be continued in Nightmare House 2. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah, right there. Continuing in Nightmare House 2. So then we cut to, uh... I think it was somewhere around six years later. And they finally released uh, the second Nightmare House. Only to include the first Nightmare House in, uh... In Nightmare House 2 as a prologue. So good job there. Same as it always was, isn't it? The mind just keeps sending you back again. It's interesting how you can find comfort in any familiar situation. Yes. Even a familiar nightmare. Wake up. It's time for the real nightmare to begin. Nightmare House 2. Nightmare House 3. <laughs> I'd play a Nightmare House 3. Alright. So, padded room. With a concrete floor. That's, actually, I think it might actually be padded floors. Put the doors open. That's, that's a safety hazard. Chapter 1. Yeah, great. Wonderful. Fantastic. It's not a house anymore, by the way. It's a hospital. Hey, it's you again! Security alert. Area under lockdown. Please remain calm and wait for further assistance. Well then, I'll wait. Hey there, buddy, you wanna wait with me? Come on, we can wait together. So, uh, you, uh... Come here often. Mm. Yeah, you're right. We should probably find our own way out. Mm. This way looks promising, doesn't it? I call you bed frame. Uh, uh, ah, that looks promising. You're way here, bed frame. I wanna just go in here and Yeah, look, flashlight. Making progress. Security alert rescinded. Lockdown removed. Yay! Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Look, if you want to get out of here, then do exactly as I say. I know you have a lot of questions, but for now it's absolutely vital that you get here as quickly as you can. First, we're going to need to get you armed. Head to the cafeteria, then to the kitchen. You'll find a surprise waiting for you there. Ooh, a You'll surprise! <laughs> Can't I just, like, uh... You know, bed frame? Smack people with a bed frame? This seems like a good idea. <laughs> this seems like a good idea. Just hit people with a great big bed frame. And that one game could do it. Security alert. Patient leaving cell block without escort. How could you possibly Security know that? And medical staff proceed to the cell detention area immediately. How could you possibly know that I'm leaving without it? It's not an automated system, is it? <laughs> okay, cafeteria. Good. Wait right there, bed frame. I'll be right back. Aha! The chef! Of course. I always suspected he was the murderer. What the? Huh. Okay. Ah, you're still alive. Ish. Not really. There you go. It's worth noting I haven't played this in two years. Okay, now the door's open. Hey, Bedframe, you would not believe what I just got in. Bedframe, let's investigate. Oh, no. Uh, 
not. Okay. <laughs> Is this really ah! Come on, bad friend, we found the exit! Excellent. Good so far. Okay, uh. Eh. Okay, we're not going back the way we came, huh, bed frame? Hmm. Here, tell you what. Bed frame! Investigate! Here, let me see if I can lay you down. There we go. Bed frame! Investigate! The other side of the wall! Anything over there? Yeah, you're right! You should head over that way. There we go. Let me just get these loose boards out of the way. There we go. All right. Med kit. I see you found my axe. God knows how it found its way out here, but you should consider it a blessing. Yeah. Well, no it's my axe how now. Much you're going to need it. Things have gotten pretty ugly here. I wish we could continue this pleasant conversation, but you better keep moving. I'm unlocking the doors for you. Oh, well, thank you. Alright, uh... Well, let's go this way, huh, bed frame? Okay. Let's see. Ah, a ladder! Hey! Things are moving by themselves. Ah! Hey. Things just slide. All right. All right. I know what must be done. Okay. All right. I gotta get to that air vent. So I'll tell you what. Here, bed frame. Wait right here. I'll be right back. Yeah, just wait right there, bed frame. Bed frame. All right, I just need to... Bam! Okay, a bed frame. We're gonna go places together, bed frame. Nyeh. Shit. Okay, hold on. Yeah! Bed frame. Okay. Let's get going, all right? Yep, accidentally tapped out. Okay, let's see if we can navigate a great big bulky bed frame through the air vents. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, wait, what? It, it, oh, it was teasing me! was trying to give me a spook. All right. Good so far, bed frame. Try it all the way from this side. Okay, good. Good. Just gotta kinda thread the needle here. Ah! Bed frame! This is a security bed frame. checkpoint. And here, hold on. And is required to proceed past this area. Please remain calm and await the nearby security staff. This is a standard procedure. Your face is a standard procedure. <laughs> All right. All right, bed frame. We come on. Bed frame. Bed frame. Bed frame. Uh, bed frame. Come on. Bed frame. Bed frame. The boxes are falling down. That's what I get for working with uh, with source engine physics. I could probably get back up there. Give me a sec. Wait, can I like? I can't, but I might be able to move them. No, no, never mind. Try it like that. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, just a second. Box, please. Come on. For 
God's sake. I might have to reload the save. I'm not gonna give up bed frame so quickly. Come on, we carried him through all the way through the game. We can do this. Stand on this. Oh, for God's sake. Here. I got an idea. If I jam that up there, and then give it a good whack, it'll blast the bed frame down to me! Whack! I missed. Hold on. Whack! No, that pushed it further back. Okay, I'll... I will... I'll be right back. Alright, I got it down. Sort of. Past this Not area. quite yet. Now Please it's down. Calm. Now Please he's down. Okay. Don't ask this me how I did that. Procedure. It involved going back through the thing and then carrying him through backwards. <laughs> Alright, so security checkpoint, eh? What the? I lost. Hey! Bed frame, you okay? Okay, yeah, bed frame's okay. What the? Look. Door. Okay, uh. Let me see here. Uh, ah! Elevators! Um. Safe. Because I remember this elevator bit. Ooh. In case of emergency, break glass. You just, uh, you just talking to demon speak? Here. Are you yeah, this up? Yeah, if Good. Not. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Romero, and like you, I'm stuck in this hellhole. I think he's a uh, reskid guy. Uh, and as a result, we're cut off. It's just you and I here, all alone. In a matter the of guy from Half Life 2. Good news is, I've heard that they're sending him. God damn it, I'm losing you. Look, I'll explain everything when you get to me. I'm unlocking the elevator doors for you. Just keep Why is the face. elevator locked? Yeah. That's bloody well help you, ma'am. What are you doing? I'm gonna kick your ass. Hold on. I'll be right there. Bed frame, come on. You gotta kick her ass. Oh, for fuck's sake. The fucking, the fucking bitch. She thinks that she can just fucking run away from me. Well, I tell you, she's wrong. So anyway, that was our first bit of the playthrough for Nightmare House 2, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, this is a Scottish accent, in case you were wondering. So and with that, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video, which will also involve nightmares. Not in a house, though. We're like a hospital. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skulls will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize. But I don't